The American flag has 13 stripes and 50 stars. You know how I know that? Because Pocket Ronnie helped me with my numbers. Okay, we're going to be doing percents today, and we're going to be talking about, for now, for this video, it's going to be like mainly like retail um, things in a grocery store, in a store, for furniture. You go to a restaurant, you pay tax. So, for now, we're looking at percents in uh, the retail world. So, here are some um, symbols that I'm going to use. This is a P with a subscript of F. We use subscripts because here I have a P and a P. So it, the, the subscripts just um, gives a distinction to each of these. So I just don't have a label of P and P. So this subscript just means it doesn't like have anything to do with the calculations. It's just a label. This is going to stand for the final price of an item or the retail price. Um, P sub O or subscript of O stands for the original price, which is the same as the wholesale price. You go into a furniture store. The furniture store bought it at wholesale price, then they're going to mark it up and then they're going to sell it to you at a retail price. So the next letter we use is M and that stands for the markup or the profit that they make. The furniture store is going to make a profit off of you because they're going to sell that piece of furniture at a higher price to you than what they bought it at and that's your markup or your profit. And then we're going to use WP. WP, we're going to stand is like one thing. What percent? This is like a variable X. So when you see WP, it stands for the variable, just like, you know, one variable. Say it was like X. Okay, so the fact that it's two letters, don't let that throw you off. This does not mean W times P. It just means WP. So, and it, it means what percent? This is going to be a percentage. So, these are some equations we can say. How does a store get a markup price? They take the original price, they take the price, the original price at what they bought it at. The furniture store bought this couch at an original price, then they multiplied it by a percent. They marked it up by 20%, and that's their profit. Okay, so you take the percentage and multiply it by the original price, and that's your markup. Or if you know the final price of a piece of furniture, you take the final price minus the original price or you take the retail price minus the wholesale price and that will also tell you the markup. So if you notice here these both stand for markup. So then we could take this and put it in here for that because all of this is equal to the markup and so if we put it into here we basically can write this equation. Okay, I just have this on this side, the final price minus the original price or the retail minus the wholesale is equal to the percentage times the wholesale price. Okay? So these are the equations that we're going to use for these problems. So if you look at 14C1, the one thing that I'm going to always that I'm going to remind you when you're dealing with percentages, before you can make any calculations, you have to turn percentages into decimals. So in 14C1, we are told that um, Joe's Warehouse pays a wholesale price of $4 for some for every CD it purchases. Okay, so here's our wholesale price for $4, and then they resell them or they resold them to us for a retail price of $9.50. Okay, so here's what they bought them at, here's what Joe's Warehouse bought them for wholesale and then they're going to turn around and sell them to the public for $9.50. What percent of the wholesale price is the profit? So we need to figure out what percentage is that. A lot of times you can figure these out logically. If you're good with percentages and you understand this, you can use logic. I'm going to show you, if you're not sure, I'm going to show you how to turn these words into an equation. Okay? So if you just go one word at a time, what percent? Well, what letters did we use for what percent? We used WP. What percent of? What does of mean in the math world? Times. So I'm going to multiply what percent to something. What percent of multiply the wholesale price? What are we using for wholesale price? We're using that, the original price, that's either the original or the wholesale price, is the profit. And we're using M 
for markup or profit. Okay, so there's our formula. I just went from words to formula. What percent? That's what we're looking for. And again, that doesn't, this doesn't mean W times P. It's just a variable up on its own. So now let's plug in what we know. Okay, we were told that the wholesale price or the original price is $4. So $4. And there's my units. So $4 equals. Okay, we weren't told the profit, but can we figure out the profit? Yes. If we're if they sell it to us, the public, at $9.50 and they bought it for $4, remember that's one of the equations I wrote up there. The profit or the markup is taking the final price minus the original price. Okay? So we can determine the markup or the profit. The markup is the $9.50 minus the $4. Okay? So then that would be what? $5.50? So then the markup is 550. I had that all right. 550. I'm just going to take my dollar sign out for a second. That's how much the warehouse is going to make on every CD it sells. So, how do I figure out the percentage? Well, this is just like a variable. Don't treat it as a W and a P. WP is one variable on its own. So, I'm trying to solve for that. So, that means I need to divide this over. So then, what percentage is that? So, 550 divided by $4. That is W, or W, 1.375. Don't leave your answers in a decimal, okay? They're not asking for a decimal, they're asking for a percentage. How do you turn any percent into a decimal? You multiply it by 100. Any decimal can be turned into a percent by multiplying it by 100. So when you multiply this by 100, then what percentage? The percentage is 137.5%. Basically, when you multiply by 100, it moves your decimal place over two times to the right. So your percentage should be 137.5. Okay, now we're looking at 14C2. It has to do with the same um, information the same problem to where Joe's Warehouse, um, they sold the CD, they had a wholesale price, uh, they bought the CDs at a wholesale price of $4, and then they um, sold them to the public for a retail price of $9.50. Okay, so we're dealing with the same information. So now we're saying what percent of the retail price is the profit? So again, you can just take your words, not every word problem you can be you not every word problem will you be able to take it straight from words to a formula so some word problems you will have to use your brain and use your logic on what it is they're asking always look at what are you given and then what are they asking for so here what percent what percent of of means multiplying math the retail price what did we use to label the retail price we used it as F, meaning for the final price or the retail price, is equal the profit. And what are we using for profit? M to be markup or profit. For this problem, we already said our markup, we subtracted the final price or the retail price minus the wholesale price, and it came out to be 550. So our markup on every CD was 550. Okay? They're like getting a lot of money from us if you're buying these CDs. All right, so let's put in what we know. We don't know the percent, so we leave that. That's the thing we don't know. We do know the final price or the retail price. That was $9.50. And then the markup was $5.50. So how do we solve for the percentage? Divide both sides by $9.50. So now the percentage is $5.50 divided by $9.50. And that came out to, I'm rounding to two decimals, that came out to 0.58. That's not the final answer. That's not a percentage. That's a decimal. To turn a decimal into a percent, you multiply it by 100. And so your percentage is 58%. All right, let's look at 14B1. 
Okay, we basically have a grocery store. They marked up their canned goods by 13%. That was the markup. Okay, sometimes you're going to be, uh, so that's our percentage, our, our percent. So basically we know that our percentage is 13%. Uh, what is the retail price of an item whose wholesale price is 59 cents? Okay, so we're asking for what is the retail price? So up above or in our formulas you said that the markup. We're told about the markup and we want to know about the retail price. So the markup was the percentage times the original price or the wholesale price. That was one of our formulas we wrote. So we know that our percentage, the market, or the percentage we're told is 13%, and our original price is 59 cents. You can't just do 13 times 0.59. Anytime you're calculating, you have to turn a percent into decimals. How do you turn a percent into decimals? Well, to turn a decimal into a percent, you multiply by 100. To turn a percent into a decimal, you have to divide by 100. So 13% is the same as 0.13. When you divide by 100, it moves your decimal place to the left. So when you do your calculations, the markup is 0.13, turn your percent into a decimal, times 0.59. So I'm doing that. And that came out to, I'm rounding, that came out to basically 0.08. That's basically saying 8 cents. Okay? Because this is a dollar amount, that's a dollar amount, this is a dollar amount. So the markup is 8 cents. That's not what they're asking us for. They are asking us for the retail price. How do we find the retail price? You have to take the wholesale price and add the markup. So to, to find out what they're selling it to us for, their store bought it wholesale from somebody from their warehouse at 59 cents. Okay, now we need to add 8 cents to that to find out what they're, we're buying it at at retail. So again, if you want to see it in a formula, you're Basically where this comes from is we said the markup is the final price minus the original and I am looking for my final price or my retail. Okay, I know my markup is eight cents. I don't know my final price minus the original price of 59 cents. That's when you can see I add 59 to the other side. So our final price is your wholesale price plus the markup, which that makes sense because that's how the world of business runs. So 59 cents plus your 8 cents should be 67 cents. So the final price of this canned good item would be 67 cents. All right, we're looking at 14B7. Here, we're, here's what we're told in the problem without reading the whole thing. We're dealing with a piece of furniture and we know that the total cost of the furniture is 955. The total cost means the final price. That is our final price, okay? That's our retail price. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write that down as our final price is $955. No, I'm not putting my units, my dollar sign. This included a 4.5, that's not written clearly, a 4.5% sales tax and a 7% delivery fee. Okay, so what percentage was I charged altogether? If I added 4.5% plus 7%, my percentage, so I know my what percent is 11.5 altogether. Okay, that's how much it got all marked up. I was charged a 4.5% sales, uh, 4 sales tax, tax, and then I was charged a 7% delivery fee. Okay, so this is how much they marked it up. I know the final price. What they're asking is, what is the price of the furniture? They're asking for the original price. When they say price of the furniture, I know it seems a bit confusing, but they're asking for the original price or the wholesale price, okay? Because this is the retail price or the final price. So we need to go look at the formulas that we have at our disposal to find this. So we're told that, or not told, 
we know that the markup is a percentage of the original price. The, it's a percentage of, because of means multiply, percentage of the original price. We also know that markup is take the final price minus the original price. That can, we can also get the markup that way. So now you can see we don't know the markup and we won't told the markup, but it doesn't matter because we said M equals this, so we can take this and put it in right there. Okay? And that was another equation that we actually wrote. So we can put in here our percentage times our original price equals our final price minus our original price. Now we can look at what we know. Let's put in the things that we know. We know the percentage. That was 11.5%. We don't know the original price because that's what we're trying to find. We do know the final price, $955 minus, and we don't know the original price. So we only have one unknown, okay? If you don't like the fact that these have subscripts on them, take them off because they're the same thing. This is just like saying 11.5% P and P. So the only unknown we have is P. But before you can do any calculations, you have to turn your percentage into a decimal. How do you turn a percentage into a decimal? You divide it by 100. So you cannot use percentage in your calculations. Turn it into a decimal. So 11.5% is the same thing as 0.115. P equals 955 minus what coefficient is in front of here? It's like a 1. So if you want to put 1P to help you, then that's okay. Okay, to solve for your variable, what do you do? You get letters on one side and whole numbers on the other side, or numbers on the other side. So here, I want to get my P's together, so I'm going to add one P there, add one P here. So on this side, 1 plus 0.115 would be 1.115. P equals 955, because that went away. How do I solve for P? Divide both sides by 1.115. So... P equals, I'm doing it in my calculator, and then if you get more than two decimals, round to two decimals because we're dealing with money. Money doesn't have more than two decimals, okay? $856 and two, or what, 50 cents. That's dollars. Your units are important. So, that was one of your questions. What was the original price or what was the wholesale price? Or they said, what is the price of the furniture? They're meaning the original or the wholesale. So I can label this back to say that was the original price or the wholesale price. So then they also asked, um, what is the amount of tax? Well, I was told that my tax is 4.5%. Well, my tax is going to be 4.5% of that number. Okay, so if I go over here, tax equals 4.5% of that amount that I just paid. $856.50. What does of mean in math? Multiply. So if I paid 4.5% of that, it means I need to multiply, but I need to turn this into a decimal. How do I turn a percentage into a decimal? Divide by 100. So the amount of my tax is going to be Turning this into a decimal would be 0.045 times $856.50. So the amount that I paid for the tax, I do know I paid 4.5%, but how much was that in money? So that would be, I paid $38.54. Again, round it to two decimals because we're dealing with money. Money is two decimals. Then they asked, how much was my delivery fee? Okay, well, in the delivery, they told us that we paid 7%. So, 7% of that amount we just paid, 7% times, because times may, or of means times, $856.50. 8 $856.50. 7% of that means 7% times that. I have to turn that into a decimal before I can calculate. How do you turn a percentage into a decimal? You divide by 100. So taking 7 divided by 100 means 0.07 times 
times $856.50. So the amount that I spent on the delivery, if I paid 7%, was $59 and rounding to 96 cents. And your dollar sign, your units is important. So that's how much I spent on delivery for that piece of furniture.